Hey there guys, welcome back to a, another episode of the Saga Frontier New Player Walkthrough Series. Uh, kicking off episode 7 with the focus of trying to unlock the flechette. Uh, so the flechette is going to be my favoured SMG uh, for probably the rest of this this series. But uh, we, we've already unlocked the ICA's God, Lacerator. Uh, so we have a DMR ready to roll. Uh, we need to get some kind of uh, close close range weapon. So we're going to go for the Osiris Flechette. Um, up until we unlock the Advocate from ICA, then we can have a medium, a, a close to medium range weapon with the Advocate, with the assault rifle there. Uh, yeah, but also. Today is the day, so I've got 200, 200, I've got 940 Aurum there. Um, my Aurum generator's been ticking over, and we are about to get 950 Aurum, I think we're going to have 951 or 2, and we will be able to buy the Battle Pass. Yep, 951. If we go on over to the Battle Pass, we can buy the, oh sorry, the Fortuna Pass. We can buy the Fortuna Pass, we just buy the Standard Pass. Now, we can claim these uh, 10 times XP boosters. It's going to be a massive help with speeding up our leveling for the, the Fortuna Pass. So we do have a heap of really, really cool stuff inside of the Fortuna Pass. Uh, we got this cultist skin. Uh, you got a few of these cultist like weapon skins as well. You got the trench gun, the AR-55. This cleaver, which I'm not really a, a fan of, but I mean it's a melee weapon skin. If you were quite sick of the uh, the standard skin, that's an option for you. But there are some much better melee weapon skins later down the line. Uh, we've got a weathered C32, a whole bunch of skins. Uh, let's just claim, actually let's claim our Aurum as well. So with the first Fortuna Pass back in Season 1, I think you got like about 1100 or 1200 Aurum at the end of it. So you actually profited uh, Aurum by, by completing the entire Battle Pass. I don't think that's going to be the case with this one though. But we're already back up to 150. Claim our 10 XP booster there too. I'll just quickly claim the rest of this stuff and then we'll go back over some more of the uh, Battle Pass rewards. Another Aurum. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I forgot to press the record button. <laughs> uh, that should be alright. Right, and that's it for for now. So we got up to 300 Aurum. Um, I don't really know how many. I think we got four 10 times, 10 10 percent XP boosters. Uh, but you can also get some of these weapon crates and, and things like that. So from this one, we're going to get a trench gun, uh, some shotgun ammo, a shotgun extended mod, and a quick draw mod. Um, you can get resource crates. Uh, it's got compound metal sheets, hydraulic pistons, ball bearings. Uh, a med crate here um, actually gives you armor as well as stims and and bickets. Utilities crate is going to give you more armor. Um, oh, look at that! Some backpacks as well. It's very handy. Some of these things early on uh, when everyone's competing for resources and and things like that. Getting some of this stuff is is quite helpful, especially the armor early on. Really um really helps out. But yeah, we've got an emote here. Oh, 
not the best one, but we have, have an emote here. Supplies crate. The, a spray marker thing. I'm not, I'm not going to actually claim any of the rewards until the end outside of the Aurum and the 10% uh, the XP boosters, but we also get Abyss Alloys, which is used for the forge, um, which I will do in this, this walkthrough at some point. I will get there eventually. Alright, so with that out of the way, we need to have a look at our jobs. So we've got some jobs on the go, hunt creatures with a pistol, hunt rattlers with a shotgun and hunt rattlers, uh, so a whole bunch of PvE stuff. Uh, and then for our main missions, we've got a powerful discovery, we need to use the PKR Maelstrom. Um, lost knowledge, we need to get clear Veltasite. I think Never Give Up Part 1 might be a, a part of that as well. We're going to go head over to the ICA and just check which which uh, quests are the main story ones. How can the ICA help? So Never Give Up in Race to the Bottom. I'm not going to do any of the Tharis Island stuff. Come back yet. anytime. Uh, but yeah, we want to have a focus on uh, the flechette, so jump on Prospector. over here. Lost knowledge, so we need to have a focus on the clear Velta side. Very well. This whole Maelstrom prospector kill is quite a bit of a roadblock for us at the moment. That's how everything's working out. So, we only got two Maelstroms here. Maelstrom Balti. Have to buy some more meds. Mm, a decent choice. Mm, a decent choice. Purchase complete. Anything else? the money, we'll take some extra meds. Um, ammo. Do that. Alright, let's jump on down to Bright Sands. We're going to go up to the, the lake and try and mine out some Veltasite and see what we can do about getting a Prospector kill as well. Alright, so we spawned on the southern side of the map. Uh, we were looking to go to the lake, but we do have our evac right here at the southwest collection point. We are only here for some clear Veltasite, so we're going to mine out some of the nodes along the southern side of the map. Uh, and then probably check out some of the ones in, in around the swamp camp. Try and find some clear Veltasite for us there. I'll actually come up this river a little bit and try and mine out some of these these nodes up here. There just no nodes anywhere. Hopefully there's some nodes down here. Thought I saw some, but maybe not. I got some rattlers to kill with the shotgun at least, so we can do that. Alright, well that's one down. Oh, we got someone spawning over in the northeast inside of the map. Hey, we finally found some some belt side nodes. We got a blue runner egg down here. I'm gonna take that one uh, for a job down the line. I think there's a couple jobs from. There you go. The blue runner egg thing is on the the node. Uh, there's a couple jobs from Osiris to hand in some blue runner eggs. So I'll take that. Going to be picking up any cloudy Veltasite as well, so we can upgrade that to, to clear. Hopefully we can get some, some clear here. That's one, we need five more. Damn, okay, you're getting very lucky with the clear. Kind of had to think about how I want to actually 
continue the series. Like, obviously, I want to get the battle pass done, but um, I kind of want to do a bit of a showcase. What is going on with this map? It, like, <laughs> very confused. <laughs> Basically, had no nodes whatsoever down on the waterfront. Yeah, all of these ticks are completely bugged out. Um, but I'm thinking about once I've unlocked Tharos Island with every single faction, I'll I'll go to Tharos Island then and start those quest lines. Because it's going to be a lot easier to actually do that. Um, to, to do a lot of the PvP stuff as well, a lot of the items from there. Just because Tharos Island is, is freaking nuts. <laughs> but I do want to do probably like a whole guide on all of the individual quests on Tharos Island as well. Alright, hopefully we can get one more clear, or six more cloudy. <laughs> I just need one more cloudy at least, so we're good. Perfect. Getting good. Alright, we've got everything that we need. Let's get rid of that. Do it like that. Uh, evac. Satos collection was our evac. So we need to kill two more rattlers as well. We're gonna run through the our facility here. Get those two more rattler kills. Hopefully, be two rattlers here so we can finish those two jobs out. Ooh, it's kind of close, but it's also a lot of clear valtasite. That's actually very close. It's only like it's here. Uh, maybe it is down by. Really do need this maelstrom kill though. I don't. Ah, it's a duo. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know about that now. Alright, well, we got our clear vault site there and got a couple of. couple of rattler kills done for two jobs. So, still pretty good. Alright, rattle the cage for Korolev. It's going to be interesting to see... don't know if it tells you how much. So, 385, we just claimed a bunch of 10 XP, 10% 10, 10 XP uh, multipliers. Very good. Ah, 195. Very good. Ooh, part of me thought it was... Um... That should that. Be Part of me thought it was multiplicative, you. not additive. Yeah, I thought it was going to be 10% on 10% on 10% on 10%, not plus 10% each time. So we've got a bunch of cloudy belts inside there, so we're going to go over to the gear printer and we can upgrade it from cloudy to clear at the cost of 5 cloudy and 1700k marks. Just going to skip it. Got plenty of money. There we go, it's gonna be Lost Knowledge Part 4 and Population Control completed. Good. I'll mark that as completed. There we then. go, level 38 on the Fortuna Pass. That's, that's my favorite, well, one of my favorite jobs. I have full confidence <laughs> in you, of course. Hey, Lavi Blossoms, another the good one. for that should be worth your while. Oh, uh, I. Very uh, well. We're gonna be going to. Prison Falls next. So you need. Actually, what is the next one? I didn't even look what the next one was. Yeah. Novella. We do need to go to Crescent Falls. Anything we can so, help you with? Eliminate prospectors. That one. I mean, that, that's going to be I'll a very hard one to actually it, do at the moment, but we'll give it a crack. I'm going to grab a scarab so we can get that creature kills with the pistol job done as well. Obviously, if you were struggling for money, this is not something you would be doing. Because I'm just going to take that. it in and then drop it, pretty much. Okay, so we need to go to the favela. Down in the southwestern side of the map. We're going to be trying to collect a bunch of pale lovely blossoms if you spawn over there. Or have an evac over there, which... Perfect, we're at the fallen tree. Oh, 
find it quite useful to just passively pick up shit like the water weed filaments and that. Let's get harvesting. So if you ever need pale oak blossoms, obviously the fallen tree here is a great place to come for them, but you can also find them littered like all over the jungle or just on vines and stuff uh, randomly spread out across maps. Not so many flowers today. I definitely spoke too soon. <laughs> uh, it says seven kills done. So we can drop the scarab now, I can drop the ammo for it as well. And we were making a lot of noise as well. We're not suppressed in any capacity. Uh, scarab is a relatively quiet gun, but the maelstrom is not. So anyone in the area will definitely hear us. Don't mind this focus crystal here, so we can get some crystals for the jobs. So the, you're occasionally going to get a couple of jobs for focus crystals and pure focus crystals. So while they are worth a lot, they are worth a lot more to you if you hold on to them and use them for jobs. Although sometimes you may value your stash space more than. Uh, just like that extra little bit of bonus by completing a job. Alright, let's head on down to the favela. Oh, I actually had a thing. I think it is for ICA to get on over to the pumpkin fields and kill stuff at the pumpkin field. Yeah, never give up part one. So this is the quest line to unlock the ICA's oil. Uh, which we would be cool to get done. But I don't really think I have the time left in the season to to be doing that. I'm kind of expecting to wrap this up inside of the next week or two. Uh, simply because I'm expecting there to be an end of season event. Uh, we're coming up to the favela here. We I noticed we also need some brittle titan ore for uncharted territory part 3. So uh, there's a bit of titan ore in a cave just under the favela here. Right here. Coming down here and mining some Titan ore for that one. Easy. Alright, so for this quest we need to come up to the favela and find a scientist and his notebook. The scientist and the notebook are going to be in the clinic, which is down on the bottom side of the favela. Uh, the southeastern side of the favela. It is down here in this blue building here with the medical stuff there. You can come around the back side here and there's going to be an opening as well uh, if you wanted to not aggro any mobs. So coming in here it should be yeah, right there. And that weighs four so we're going to chuck that in our safe pockets because that's going to guarantee that quest completed. It don't need to be down here anymore so we might head on up to the pumpkin fields and uh, try and get some stuff done for that ICA quest line as well. Any other Sarah stuff? Hunt creatures in the starport area of Crystal Falls. So we do have the focus on the flechette, so we might actually go and do that instead. And then we can go down to Sarah's Wildlife Preserve and get out. So I am currently playing on the OCE servers, which is going to be quite dead, which makes it quite frustrating to try and get that, that prospect to kill. Um, but I mean, that's okay for what I'm trying to do right now, is trying to do Osiris quests until Osiris quests actually asked me to kill someone. Then an evac called in. All from like the East 120 area? Um, if I heard it, then there's a chance that it's like Osiris wildlife right here. It is. It is Osiris wildlife. Whether or not we can actually get there and skirmish and do anything now that we know someone's right there is. Yeah, see, we're just a little bit too slow. Well, they are not here anymore. That's unfortunate. Oh, so this is our evac as well. Um, just a quick note the way I know that they weren't here is that these lights went uh, yellow 
immediately after they had left in the evac ship, they turned yellow. Uh, they're blue right now because this is my evac. So they turn blue once you actually can call the evac ship in. Damn, that was quite unfortunate. We got got very close to him at the end there, but I uh, had no grenades to push him out of the, the ship, but even then, at the, the time that I was able to get there, uh, he could have just committed to staying inside and would have been fine. Let's see if we can find a suppressor before really committing to shooting anything. I haven't been able to find a single suppressor um, outside of the one that I got from the crash ship weapon box. It's quite weird because well, I don't remember ever struggling for, for suppressors. <laughs> they were just like pretty much everywhere. Got an extended mag here for our Maelstrom. Take that. Hey, there we go. Perfect. Now we can be a bit more uh, free with our shots. But you still are going to hear someone shooting the suppressor if you're close enough, but at least the sound won't travel as far. Hey! Run ahead. Ah, oh, that's really not good, actually. <laughs> Don't have any space for it. Come in here, you little shit. Alright, sneak two more. We should be able to pick them up in the landing pad area. I would kind of actually like to get up into the, the pumpkin fields and keep killing creatures there for ICA, but um, <laughs> I'm kind of running out of ammo. Strider. Okay. Nope, there's another Strider. Please be. Yes! I don't even know if 10 rounds is enough to kill that, uh, <laughs> that mature Rambler. Hey, there we go. Just need to get 10 creatures here. We've got, still got the Bolty I can kill stuff with. Enough. Bullets to kill like a, uh, a heavy strider. Maybe we get some from the stash? No. Hey, yes! Ah, oh, hell yeah, that's great. Another oh, suppressor. Mm, maybe we can do it without any ammo. We can do it. We can definitely do it. Get out of here. Alright, uh, we got 20 Hell Ivy Blossoms. Got our first Marauder here. Got a couple of medium suppressors. A whole bunch of attachments there. So the warehouse was actually kind to us for once. Um, we got three main mission, well, not main missions, but three campaign missions done. Uh, Uncharted, Uncharted Territory Part 3. Maybe we give up part one and lost knowledge part five. Yeah, so we did actually get a proximity to that guy uh, who evac back at the SRS Wildlife as well. So we were close, but yeah, like I said, we just that little bit too far away to, to do anything with that. And oh, that's a beautiful sight seeing all that all that completion. So with Lost Knowledge Part 5 completed, that's going to be the Osiris questline wrapped up for Is there something you need? going to Darius Island. I had full confidence in you, of course. See there, map access, Darius Island. We got a flechette from it. A flechette. Oh. <laughs> yeah. A uh, basic, basic lance from it. Uh, we got Storm Rider Part 2 done. Here so we, we got in and we killed 15 then. creatures from the starport area. 
Storm Rider Part 3, we're going to need to stash charge. Spider base is in Neutron Farm's office. Okay. So, with lost knowledge uh, completed, we've got explosive delivery as All our right. next quest. Assigning that work to you. We need to get two more derelict explosives. Uh, we also unlock the progenitor device, which is the start hmm. of the Paris yes, Island questline. should be able to handle that. So, it's a, some big moves for the Osiris. Uh, and we are 700 faction rep off of level 11 with the Osiris faction. So getting close to that flesh shirt that I want. Ah, hello, prospector. Yeah, we got Never Give Up Part One completed here. Good, we really need that done. We've got level 39 on our battle pass too. Part two, we're going to need to visit the geothermal plant and eliminate prospectors using an ICA weapon. Uh, currently, PvP is going to be quite hard. <laughs> All good then? I'm trying. I'm, I'm really, really fucking trying, but yeah. Hey, Woods, how you going today, man? I've been here the whole time, though. I'm gone anyway. Ah, it is Uncharted territory was a optional quest line, but we picked up some uh, brittle titan ore for that one, so it's ah. done. Excellent. Focus on crystals, uh, that's what I was trying to get uh, when I was mining out those crystals. Hey, nice! Very good. Very good, Prospector. Here we go. Very oh, we got a mass unit CPU for completing that quest line there. So, a powerful discovery. We're still trying to get that Prospector kill with the Maelstrom. Just can't find anyone. Um, once this is done, oh, this isn't even the quest line to get to Tharis Island. Shit. <laughs> See you. Oh, that's right, we had a job Prospector. completion here too. How can Coralope help? Ah, yeah, I picked up the pale ivies for Osiris jobs as well. Alright, so we're going to be going to the Crescent I'm Falls, so that's soon. not going to be something that we want to, to pick up. So we're going to go to the swamp on Bright Sands. Hey, lovies. Done. Good. I'll mark that as completed then. Nice level 40. Hunt Rattlers. Okay. Carry it's an on, easy man. one. I haven't looked at any of the rewards actually. Ah, oh, nice. We've got another um, 10% yeah, XP booster. It's going to bump our rewards for a job completion up to 210 from 195. So we got that all right there. I really feel like we just did basically fuck all and got four tiers? 50. I'm gonna have to have a look at this when when I do another job and actually see that. Alright, so we're gonna need to buy a bunch more ammo. Ran out last time, so mm, a decent bit, bit extra. <laughs> Nice getting our first uh, first suppressors. Today was login day 14 for me, so I got a free advocate from that as well. Sure, what's in the shop today? Shadow Wanderer. We should pick this up for a hundred orum uh, at the start of the season. I don't know why it was 90% off, but it was 90% off. It's kind of cool. Charge spinal bases was a job we had, and I have been picking up a couple of them during the storm. Nice, okay. So I only need to stash four of them in the Nutrient Farms office, I think it was. Yeah, so Storm Rider Part 3 uh, stash charge spinal bases in the Nutrient Farms office. Uh, we need two more derelict explosives and to visit the geothermal plant and also go to the... I think it's Green's Prospect. Yeah, we're at the sniper rifle one for ICA. So we've got a bunch of stuff we can do on Crescent Falls. Uh, we've 
going to keep our overseer's office key because we're going to be going to the pretty much the room like right next to the overseer's office there. Alright, so we still got our Maelstrom suppressed, um, spawned up in the northern side of the map. Now evac right here. We've got Green's Prospect to do, and they it wasn't that long ago, but they, they pushed an update for the creatures of Bright Sand, oh, Bright Sands, of, of Green's Prospect. So there's a bunch more creatures in uh, Green's Prospect now, so doing that, doing this quest with the Sniper rifle kills was an absolute pain in the ass previously. Now it shouldn't be too hard, and it would help if I actually looked at the screen. I didn't repair my armor again. <laughs> uh, Braylon, if you're still here, I can show you how to do the, the jump dodge for the water here. So when he's doing your light attack like that, just jump while his arms swing it back. Hit him while he's doing his heavy like that. It's very, it's, it's very weird. I don't know if I like that better or the old one better. Um, the animations on the new Jeff is, is definitely much better than the old one, though. That's for sure. The normal striders hanging about, just chilling. All right, well we are right here, so let's just do the puzzle real quick. Then. I'll actually show you guys what I used to do for this quest line because there used to be no freaking mobs in here at all. Ah, oh, sweet, there's another little strider down there I saw. All right, let's see if we can find one more normal strider to just tap real quick. Right there. Perfect. And hopefully we'll get the two from up top here and just drag them down. Because I still want to show you guys, like, sometimes people will be working on the same quest, or someone just comes through here and there's not going to be any. Yes! Nice. A derelict explosive. Yeah, there's just not going to be any, uh, any creatures here. Hmm. Go away, Jeff. But basically, this little platform here counts as Green's Prospect. So if you just come up these stairs, or the other stairs, just piss these two guys off. I'm actually going to take my armor off. I don't have space. I don't have space. I have to deal with this marauder real quick. Wait, did they come down here? They did come down here. Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. So the reason I took my armor off is I was actually fully expecting you to get hit by the strider, not not the jet. Um, and it's so close to being broken that I don't really want to really want it to break yet. It's got that max stamina boost. If your armor does get broken in raid, then you'll lose the perks of the armor. So I won't get that plus 25% uh, plus 25 max stamina. All right. So what else we have to do is pick up another derelict explosive. Are actually in a very good position to do that. So derelict explosives you're going to be finding in mostly dumpsters and industrial crates and stuff like that. Uh, so we are at the the alleyway and the lakeside building. So there's a bunch of loose spawns and like dumpsters and industrial crates in this area. It's really really good for uh, construction loot like aluminium scrap and smart mesh, print resin and Stuff like that. Kotec multi tools. I don't have any space. Are you kidding me? So, print resin is an exceptional item for actually making money. Uh, there's two dumpsters at the backside of the lakeside building here. Hey, there we go. There's our derelict explosive. But yeah, if you're still looking for 
the uh, derelict explosives and coming down here and uh, looting these is a good place to be as well. Alright, well that's the geothermal plant visit completed. Let's head on up to the Nutrion Farms office area. Alright, so the dead drop location in the Nutrion Farms processing plant is going to be inside and upstairs. Hopefully you can be left alone long enough to get rid of them there. Come up here, and as soon as you come up the stairs, come up here and just under this desk right here. Check out stuff in there. Alright, well, we got everything we need to do done, for sure. Uh, the spot where armor can spawn is down underneath here on this bench. There is none. Let's get out of here. It's gonna go straight up to our evac and get out. Oh, do you have three more atlas I could kill? because I didn't repair my... <laughs> <laughs>